Hi Aquarius, welcome to this reading. Wow, Ten of Cups, okay. Five of Swords reversed, we have the Page of Swords, and we have the Two of Pentacles. So I feel like the Divine Feminine is coming from a place of love, of um, hope, optimism, gratitude, but not with, it, it's, it hasn't just happened, it's been a choice. I'm looking at this number five here as well. Um, it's almost like the feminine has said enough. <laughs> you know, I'm switching my perspective, five of swords reversed. I'm not going to overthink. I'm not arguing with myself or with my twin anymore. I'm choosing, you know, maybe maybe consciously manifesting, choosing my vibration. Um, okay, we've got the page of wands in the reverse. So maybe it's felt like there have been false starts here over the weeks, months, years, however long you have been dealing with your twin or, you know, the Divine Feminine, if you're the Divine Masculine watching this, we've got the Eight of Cups reversed. Mm -hmm. Ace of Pentacles, we have the Sun, Leo, and the Ace of Cups reversed. Okay, I feel for some of you watching, um, the Divine Feminine here is definitely consciously manifesting a new beginning, a fresh start, a rebirth. Did I say we have Leo with the Sun? Um, it hasn't happened yet, but there's complete faith and belief that it will happen. Um, and if the Divine Feminine is not consciously manifesting, I feel this is happening through a conscious choice to change their perspective, to change their vibration, because I'm seeing lots of hope, lots of belief, but still with some things that are currently manifesting, maybe from, you know, previous cycles um, or the last cycle here, you know, to that cause a bit of tension or conflict or some disappointment. And yet the Feminine is choosing not to look at those things, but to look at what the future could hold. Um, and I, like I said, I, this hasn't happened automatically. I think it's it's through a conscious choice. It's their own will they're using, their determination. Um, wanting a reconciliation, a reconnection. I wonder if this is a feminine who at some point almost pulled back emotionally from their twin. Now they're coming back around. If their twin pulled back emotionally from them in a 3D sense, um, trying to draw and manifest their twin towards them. We've got the Page of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Let's clarify that. Hanged Man Reverse, Pisces, yeah. You know, I just, I know not everyone watching this who is a Divine Feminine is going to be consciously manifesting a new beginning, but I'm seeing it strongly. And just to say, if you're resonating as the Divine Feminine and you also claim this message that yes, through my effort and my will, I'm choosing to focus on what I want to see happening and on the positives, just know you are manifesting as a result of this. Yeah, Page of Cups. And we have the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so I feel this is a feminine who's waiting and looking to see evidence of their masculine making changes in their practical 3D realm, um, maybe taking better care of themselves, prioritizing themselves and reaching out and offering something to the feminine, coming towards the feminine. There's like an expectation. Um, I'm feeling positive, I'm feeling good. I know we're always connected. So I know my masculine is gonna be feeling this energy from me. So I'm looking for signs for confirmation in the 3D that this is happening, that we're moving forward. I also feel, you know, Aquarius, the Divine Feminine here maybe didn't expect to feel this way again or to get to this place or this point within the connection because the Sun is happiness, joy, transformation, but it's very far through the major arcana, you know, almost to the point where we might think, well, this is a kind of, you know, this um, dynamic we have isn't really going to change at this point, or it's a bit... It's a bit late now for a new beginning or something like that, but actually it's happening or too much has happened for me to come back around to my masculine and to hope for a new beginning or to want communication. Um, and yet here we are. Okay, so let's see what's going on with the divine masculine then. I am seeing judgment, so yeah, a new beginning. Confirmation there of changes happening. The masculine is feeling the divine feminine's energy. We have the page of pentacles. What's interesting is if there are any delays, it could be because the feminine is saying, look, just to show of effort, will, enthusiasm, um, you know, emotion would do, but the masculine is saying, that won't do. I've got to bring in something tangible, an offer, a gift, or something like that. I feel like the word will is the word of your reading as in through your own effort your own strength of character your own will you know will you're you're sort of trying to make something happen so i think this is a very conscious deliberate every day i'm, I'm choosing you know my focus here um i'm not going to let my thoughts or past stresses or memories get me down that's, that's coming from the feminine okay what's going on with the masculine please 
Ace of Wands reversed. Ooh, Queen of Swords thinking about um, their feminine, wanting to communicate. We've got Gemini energy here. And we have mm, Knight of Cups. Yeah, so the masculine is absolutely picking up on this. Um, the, the, the focus of, on the potential for the feminine or from the feminine, focusing on new beginnings, focusing on manifesting, creating, feeling empowered here. We have the chariot, cancer, but focusing on a goal and being determined to get there. Five of pentacles. So this is a masculine who is saying, I'm in separation from my feminine, or even if we talk, even if we see each other every day, I'm not able to show how I really feel or say what I really want to say, but you know, I want to, and I'm, I'm really focused on how I haven't been able to do that. Five of Wands and we have the Hermit Virgo. So this is a masculine who's saying they're pretty busy. I wonder if they're trying to manifest changes in current relationships or situations around them that are eating up their time here. Um, let me clarify. For some reason, I'm finding it kind of funny that we've got the Hermit and the Knight of Cups. So maybe this masculine is someone who's a homebody and their ideal evening would be making a meal for their feminine in their home and then relaxing after with some wine or something like that. But they're trying to push themselves outside of their comfort zone to be this sort of like party goer um, or to say to the feminine, OK, why don't we go out somewhere? Because they really want it to seem like they're making an effort, that they're not just saying, why don't you just come to my house? Um, but it just feels a bit awkward. It's an awkward dynamic. Um, but it's coming from a good place. It's coming from wanting to show I'm stepping outside of my comfort zone because I really want you to know I've put effort in. Like it's kind of awkward and charming. It's that, it's that kind of a thing. Um, you would Like whatever this person's thinking about suggesting or doing with the feminine is not something they would ordinarily really do. And probably won't do again. Okay, masculine, masculine, the magician and um, the five of wands. What are they doing regarding other people? Oh, king of pentacles reversed, freeing themselves from commitments potentially. Page of pentacles, it could be a situation with a karmic and a child or children, or um, even a business partner in a, in a business or something like that, four of swords. So yeah, making a big change to do with their, um, something that's going on in a 3D, some kind of, um connection there could be someone here who is dependent on them oh, oh my goodness please can you not burn yourself oh um sorry cats could be important to your connection um okay so as i was saying there could be someone here who is dependent now they're going to start fighting on the divine masculine um or something that they are kind of nurturing and feel that they need to make preparations around. They don't just want to walk away from it. But with the Four of Swords reversed, this looks to me like someone who's get you know actually getting up off this bed and taking action after um, quite a while, quite a while of thinking, quite a while of waiting for inspiration. Um, okay, so I'm interested to see what to expect over the next couple of weeks because four of pentacles in the back keeping or what's, what's that expression keeping their cards close to their chest or something um yeah let's see what to expect because there are changes taking place and i feel it began with the change in focus from the divine feminine whatever the impulse was whatever the initial reason the feminine wanted to change their focus it's, it's having a real impact we have weight don't rush into it allow nature to take its course so the divine could be stepping in, you know, facilitating things, lining things up. Let's get another one. Because that sort of just fell out in a bit of a sad way. <laughs> Maybe the waiting is, is what's making everyone sad. So it's like, okay, no more, no more waiting. Okay, let's get this out. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they also... They can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Yeah, and I think that's what the Divine Feminine has already done. And look at the changes it's um, creating. Okay, so let's see what else. What to expect over the next couple of weeks here, please. The answers you need are coming, full moon in Gemini. Absolutely, yeah. There's, there's gonna be movement, I feel, for many of you watching. 
um, in the next couple of weeks. If you're the feminine, you could get communication from the masculine. If you're the masculine, you could get that insight, that download that you're looking for, that inspiration of how to make moves here. This masculine is also someone, as I said, who's quite introspective, maybe keeps themselves to themselves, likes their routines, but there's an understanding and realisation of, okay, I'm going to have to stretch myself here to get things going or, or to move things forward. I'm going to have to put myself out there for my feminine. Okay, guidance and advice, please. Guidance and advice for Aquarius. guess we'll take that too we have full moon in cancer let your fears dissolve again you know i feel the feminine is doing this already so keep going with that and then we have first quarter moon in scorpio <laughs> release your blocks okay clearly clearly um you know if you're the divine feminine just just keep doing what you're doing you know don't, you don't need to make any changes here. If you're the masculine, you know, let your fears dissolve, release your blocks. Fears around making a change, fears around stepping outside of your comfort zone. Release, you know, release that, go for it. Even if you try and it doesn't quite go to plan, you can adjust and try again. Okay, so this looks like it's moving. The energy feels like it's pretty active right now, Aquarius, which is nice and exciting, especially because I feel there has been a long time and everyone's tired of the waiting of the delays of the divine timing um so to have things you know speeding up and moving is nice it's it's fresh energy here okay so i will leave this here thank you for watching and i'll see you soon bye